Hey guys, this is Bex from Teachers Pay Teachers, and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like in the immigration resource folder. So once you open it up, you will notice there's a Watch Me First video for teachers on how to share Google Forms correctly. It's quick, give it a look, and then you can delete it or move it from the folder. And then all the resources are numbered. So let's take a quick look at these. This is my immigration mini book. Um, and because they're numbered, you can just share the folder with your kids and then give them, give them specific assignments like, oh, today you're doing number one, or you can read it with your class together. So this is the mini book. It's just four pages of short reading, good introduction. Then we have the immigration diaries. They come in two sets, set A and set B. Set A is higher reading level. Set B is easier readability. So let's just look at set B. And then there's information here for you. They're almost the same as the printable PDF that is in my store, but there are slight differences in the wording. So you can take a look here. There are three different fictional immigrant diaries for your students to read and learn from. And then there's a writing assignment. So let's take a look at that. That goes along with the immigrant diary entries and your students can plan right here in Google and they actually click in a text box will pop up for them to plan. And then these are their writing pages and there's a separate text box there for the date and so on. And there are spaces for four entries. Now there's also reading passages split into levels A and B. So let's take a look at level A this time, which is higher readability. So I am going to be adding some um, quizzes quiz links possibly to these, but I'll show you where the quizzes are in the folder too. So this is passage A, um, and you can see, kind of get a little idea of the readability there. There are four different topics. What is immigration? Why did people move to North America? What was it like to immigrate to America in the 1800s? And Ellis Island, and the same topics are in set B, the easier reading level. This also number seven vocab cards is great to do at the beginning to make sure your students understand some important vocabulary and you can delete any vocabulary cards that you do not need or just skip them when show, showing with your class. Then we have the four quizzes, which um, you can see, see here and assign to your kids in Google Classroom. Again, watch this video but they are meant to go along with the reading passages. So for example, there was an Ellis Island reading passage, and here we have the Ellis Island little quiz. It's super short. It's just meant to be two or three questions. This is what you will see, and then um, this is what the kids will see, and they do have to put their email in because there is a fill in the blank question that they will type in and then you have to review later to give them a final score. You can change these questions, please note. So if you wanna make this a multiple choice, instead of a fill in the blank, go right ahead. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know and um, have fun. Hope it's helpful.